On uh, Sunday, July 10th, uh, Friends of Soundview Park will be hosting the seventh annual Summer Art and Music Festival. And the day is sure to have something that everyone can enjoy. Activities will include live performances, art exhibitions, fitness programs, waterfront activities, and more. And here now to tell us more is the founder and vice president of the Friends of Soundview Park, Lucy Aponte. Hello and welcome. Hi, Mina. How are you? Welcome back to thank Open. You. And thank you for your service to our community and the thank parks. You. And the parks. Uh, this is the seventh year uh, yeah. for, of this event. And um, just, you know, let's just share a little bit with everyone who the Friends of Soundview Park is. Well, the Friends of Soundview Park is a group that was uh, formed in 2010 and uh, has been working to. Uh, make Soundview Park and the community a, a beautiful mm -hmm. place and a better place to be. We um, bring performances there, concerts, we um, take care of the park, we have a lot of volunteers who join us, and we connect with other organizations to create great programming at Soundview Park. So, why is it important for our community to have these events in the park? Uh, the reason why it's important, it's, it's a neighborhood that is, ha has um, um, low income people and uh, who need a place to go uh, with their family and to have positive and good entertainment, to have good things going on for the community, for families, to bring them together in, in positive ways. You know, and also just the parks itself, right? Because I noticed that the, the parks, I mean, even though this is the seventh annual, the, the parks seem to be a lot more engaged in, in kind of in bringing everybody to the park. And, and I, I'm, I'm a tree lover. Mm -hmm. I'm a tree hugger. Yeah. Um, I'm a nature lover. Yeah. And so, uh, yes, we, we can have festivals and close down streets, but it's quite different when you're actually inside of a park. Yes. And so I just wondered what that partnership is with the park. Well, with, uh, we, we take care of Soundview Park. Right. So the Friends of Soundview. Um, we take care of it and we provide entertainment and festivals and activities to bring the community in and engage them in the community. It's a waterfront park. It's beautiful. I mean, to have an opportunity to, to be at the waterfront, to have performances at the waterfront, to have activities going on at the waterfront, and to bring the community together in a place that is so beautiful with nature, and uh, all of the, um, uh, the wildlife is coming back, the river is becoming healthy, so I like that she's saying the wildlife <laughs> is coming back. Well, yes. you know, they, they're preserving it and, and they're refurbishing. Oh, no, that, that wouldn't be the proper term. Refurbishing is more technological, uh, uh, technological. But um, they're, you're, um, what would, what's the word we're looking for? Like they're rejuvenating it. Yeah. They're yeah. refreshing it. Yeah. Um, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful because it's our land to take care of. It's gorgeous. Years back, that um, Soundview Park was known as a place that you don't go to. Right. And now it's been remade it's absolutely stunning we get people who come from everywhere even tourists who come they hear about our festival and they come from holland or from you know other places and you know it's nice to see that that's great so what what should people uh, look forward to this year at this year's event is well, there something different do you do well, something different every year I, well what we do every year is that we make it bigger and so this year is going to be even bigger with many more performers going on. They're going to, uh, children's entertainment. There's going to be entertainment for families. Everything is going to be fr family friendly. Um, activities at the waterfront with, uh, with the Bronx River Alliance. Um, there's going to be- So if there's activities in the waterfront, is, does that uh, refer, are you referring to canoes and water activities? Well, well that's what we're planning on that's having canoes there. It, nice. you know, it all depends on the water. Right, too. right, yeah. nice, But nice. Um, we have, you know, the meditation garden. So we're going to have uh, Hatha Yoga meditation, Zumba, we're going to have a muralist there also um, with the kids and doing murals. Um, uh, artists doing all kinds of activities with the kids um, and the families. It's for adults and for kids. It's not just for kids, it's adults and kids. No, it's great. So and it's, it's for adults who want to be kids. Yeah. <laughs> that would be me. Uh, <laughs> no, well, you know, yeah. I'm uh, forever young, forever Listen, young. I'm, I'm still a kid. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. the idea is to engage in activity, right? And so mm -hmm. this is loaning itself back to, of course, spending quality time together with your family, but um, 
we here in the Bronx uh, advocate, or at least here at Bronx, that we're advocating the importance of just being physically active without necessarily having to work out or feeling yeah. like you're working out. I mean, canoeing, you're working out your arms, right? Yes. And well, uh, we're going to have a walk also. Okay. Yes. Well, there so you have a walk, walk and the yoga. Walk. We're going to have the meditation, Hatha yoga meditation, and we're also going to have Zumba. And so, you know, there's a lot, you know, for um, healthy um, activities as well as um, arts and, and, and creative activities going on in the performances, musicians and singers and dancers. And so it's that. a full day. It starts at? It starts at 10 o'clock and it goes till 6 and perform. Well, there are going to be performances going on throughout the park as well as uh, on the stage. So basically, you can walk the park, and there's like different stations of different activities going on. Going Rina, on. you gotta go. <laughs> you gotta. Go. I gotta go. Yeah. Like, she's like, Rita, you gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. It sounds like something my daughter and I would enjoy. So I'm, yeah. I'm most likely going to go, providing it doesn't rain. Yeah. Well, the rain date is the following Sunday, July 17th. Oh, so you do have a rain date. We have a they rain got date. That too. We're not going <laughs> to let this go. <laughs> no, it sounds well, it sounds yeah. lovely, and the fact that it's on the water, and again, just the fact that we're appreciating the parks and the water and the river, and just our beautiful, beloved Bronx and, yes. and our family and our community, bringing everybody together and, and just showing them what a good time is uh, and being physically active without necessarily having to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. You have nature out there and you have a, this is a huge park. There's a lot, uh, you know, that you can do in this park and it's beautiful. So people should come and see it and what we have to offer. And there's going to be more coming. That's great. Well, um, is there anything else you'd like our viewers to know before uh, we go? Well, just to make sure to come, it's on Sunday, July 10th, and it starts at 10 o'clock. And again, we're going to have a lot of artists there uh, exhibiting their work as well as doing work with the kids. So it's definitely a day from the sounds of it that you plan to spend the entire day because there's going to be something to do throughout the entire day. Throughout it's not just shopping and the festival aspect for the artists. I mean, we, we love when, when we support our local artists as well. Mm -hmm. However, there's going to be physical activities and, and entertainment and waterfront and you can yes. make a picnic out of it, it it's like it's, it sounds lovely it it is <laughs> it is. It well, is. thank you for coming here and sharing it with our viewers. Thank Lucia you. Ponte. Once again, the 7th Annual Summer Art and Music Festival is taking place on Sunday, July 10th at Soundview Park, which is located on Lafayette Avenue at, at Mel Metcalf Avenue in the Bronx. And for more information, you can visit nycgovparks.org slash events. And so the fifth annual film festival showcased 16 unique short films and documentaries and BronxNet's cameras were there to capture the story. Let's take a look. 